and his government is coming to an end. Femi Fani Kayode reviews. Femi Fani Kayode recounts all the warnings he had given to Buhari's government, but he refused to listen. Now they have started to happen. He said this in the statement titled for the record. Read below. My opposition to the Buhari's government for the last five years has been as constant as the Northern Star and it remains as strong today as it is ever was. I warned Nigerians what would happen if it came to power in 2015 and I was proved right. I warned them again in 2019 and again I was proven right. I have spoken and written more than everyone else in this country over the last five years after the atrocities of the Fulani Etman and Boko Haram and the, and the ty ty tyranny, wickedness, evil, corruption and incompetence of Buhari's regime. I have also suffered more, lost more, been humiliated more, been persecuted more, been uh, castrated more and being insulted more than most people in the country due to many and my unrelenting opposition to them. They have literally taken everything from me and it is only my, by the grace of God that I am still alive and that I have not been killed. This is because my opposition is not just to Buhari but to the dark and sinister forces that he, re that he represents and what it stands for, which is beyond the comprehension of the overwhelming majority of the Nigerian people. They think they know how evil those extremist forces are, but in reality, they still don't have any idea. I have, I have risked all I have exposed and done more danger to those forces than anyone else in this country in the last few years by their own admission. I have also spoken up for the weak, the poor, the oppressed, the depressed, the deprived, the voiceless and the persecutor across ethnic region and party lines. And I have done all this right under the noses of those in power and not from distant shores or foreign lands. That, that, does not, that does not however mean that I have lost my humanity. That does not mean that I, I will release in anyone's death. That does not mean that I will dance on the grave of others because death comes to us all and doing so de diminishes us as human beings and makes us little better than beasts. For the last 30 years, I have written and spoken out against the atrocities and the enjonomy that the people of the South and the Middle West and the Christian community have suffered in the hands of our collective oppressors since 1914. And over the last 106 years, I have also constituently argued that the people of the Southeast were subjected to nothing less than genocide during the Civil War. And that if really want peace, we must make necessary amends and atonement for this and they must be treated in a accommodating, reasonable, and compassionate way and with far more decency and sensitivity. The Christian majority of the North who have suffered in the hands of the Egenomous, immeasurable, and have also been subjected to ethnic cleansing, mass murder, crimes against humanity, and genocide over the last 60 years deserve no less and also need to be treated with more sensitivity 
and had their self-respect and dignity restored. This, to some, now counts for nothing, and that is to be expected. God only vindicates and reward and prosperity and history will judge us as by what we did and said when evil darkened the land and the oppressors ate away. Thankfully, we cannot be defined by the words and reasoning of mere mortals and shallow men. What lies ahead for our country is fritment and fitful, chilling because the extremists and adenas in the federal government are now in full control with no one to moderate, restrain, or put them in check. This is a major challenge which needs to be taken over seriously. What makes it worse is that the president has hidden himself in Asso Rock, Bunker, and has refused to step out and offer direction or provide strong and purposeful leadership. What we have today is a dangerous power, vacuum, and useless president. He has the presence of mind to resign or to step up to the plate, ride us of nepotism and the ethnic and religious division that pledged the land, heal our wounds, change its ways, and lead us fairly and boldly. It will no, not end and any time soon. Sadly, the next few months and years will be difficult, arch, unpredictable, unstable, bloody, vicious, brutish, hard, retro retrogressive, divisive, nasty, and nightmarish for our dear country and there will be little despite for anyone because that is all our government has to offer. If you think it was bad before, wait and see what will happen in the next few months and years. If something does not give, then we are ready in trouble as a nation and we may not survive as it is. What is likely to happen in Nigeria will make the ugly events that unfolded in Zaria and the Congo DRC over the last few decades and the erroneous events that occurred in Rada in the early 90s look like child's play. This is the momentum challenge that we are facing and that is what we should be we should be open. Working and praying hard against all this will be better for us. For those that doubt this, I say the proof of the pudding is in the eating and as always as time will prove me right. The only saving grace is that is that God is not a man shall eventually deliver us. That is my hope and prayer. Meanwhile, those that doubt my commitment to the struggle and to the residents reply because because of my terrible uh, tribute to an old friend of 40 years who passed on are entitled to their opinion and are free to stop re reading stop reading my contributions and commentaries. The last thing I need is validity or validation from any man. Why would I crave for that when I have the love of God in me? Regardless of their disposition towards me, I will continue to hold to my views and express them. I hold myself, my God, and my nation that much, if nothing else. I wish you well. Shalom. Thank you, viewers, for listening to these names. See what Unamdikano, um, Femi Fani Kayode has said concerning the country 
after reading that tribute and of Femi Fani Kayode's epitaph of his friend of 40 years, which we did not know any time about until he's dismissed. We never knew anything about his friend of 40 years until he's dismissed as finally exposed him to the world. And that has changed everything about what we thought in the uh, Femi Final Kayo Day was. They did, they, they did not, uh, they didn't tell your friends of 40 years this before. Why didn't you tell them? Why didn't you tell him? Why didn't you, Femi Fani Kayode, tell your late friend about Kiari all these challenges? Or do these challenges come about just after he's dead a week ago? Why are you helping Dr. Bolaji Akinyemi's exposition? Of who you really are. Why? Imagine that. With what Femi Fani Kayode has said, he, is, he has said, yeah, he's saying what he knows or what is in his mind. Because he can't say that it was God that told him all this. I only pray that even if he has been saying, he has been saying. He has been revealing such a thing ever since and nobody took him for granted and took it, people took him for granted he has said all this that is happening now in the country before i don't know but with this one that he's saying that few months and few years to come that all this will happen in the country by the grace of almighty god this thing will not happen all these things he has mentioned will never happen in the country this that just happened will be the last and the final so viewers, what is your take on this? Drop your comment below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to receive.